Good evening, class. Hi guys. Good evening, Marvin. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Warner. Good evening, Andres. Good evening, Mariela and Manuel. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? Good, Very good, teacher. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, excellent. I'm glad you guys have connected early. Good for you. Welcome. Good evening. Good, good evening, Francisco Javier. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, hey, that's good. <laughs> yes. Uh, one well, more. <laughs> Sorry? Hi, everyone. Hi, Francisco. All right, good to see everybody. Um, thank you, Warner, for connecting. <laughs> and I can see that you're in your, oh no, well, I can't hear the audio. I guess his audio is still connecting. Okay, all right. Can, can you hear us, Warner? No, I guess it's still connecting. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for connecting on time. I really, really appreciate it. Um, as I was saying to you guys in the in the group, if this is our, our last uh, opportunity, <laughs> this the last four days to be able to uh, make sure that you you have a passing grade for at least eighty percent of the. Um, of the attendance. So um, I'm glad you guys are able to to um, connect. Okay. Um, how was your day today? How was your day? In my case, okay. I am um, heard, heard, heard the chat. Heard chat. You are what? Dolor de cabeza. Oh, you have a headache. Eric, oh, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I'm very, very sorry. Have you taken anything? Have you taken um, something mm. for your headache? Uh, really not. No? Nothing? No. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe it would be a good idea to take something if you want so that you're not a, that you're not worrying about that headache because I know that doing your job uh, having a headache that's a that's horrible so yeah and you're at your job right now right you're yeah right now? Mm -hmm. yeah okay all right well uh, welcome Josue Alberto welcome Manuel good evening teacher and classmates good evening Josue uh good evening Elsie Janet Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening. Um, are you at home, Elsie? Janet? Yes. You're, you're home? Okay. Okay, okay, good, good. All right. Francisco. In San Francisco. You're home in San Francisco, okay. Perdón, es que salí, salí a la calle un momento y me quedé con la mascarilla, por eso ah, me okay. está preguntando, ¿verdad? Perdón, solo salí a la calle, qué loca, perdón. No, no, está bien. Yo pensaba que andaba en Arabia Saudita. Qué terrible, ya por inercia me la dejé. No, no pero estoy no, haciendo bueno. Pero bueno, más protección. Está bien. Um, welcome, Alejandra María. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm good. And you? Good. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Yeah, okay. All right, guys, I'm so happy that you are able to connect early. And so I'm going to do what I always do, take attendance. Um, so let's see. Um, let me take our attendance. Okay, let me pass this. All right, here we go. Um, Alejandra Maria. Here. Okay. Andres Giovanni. Present. 
Wonderful. Uh, Edgar Alfredo. Edgar. No, right? Okay, not yet. By Elsie Janet. Elsie yes. Janet. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Fabiola. Fabiola, no? Okay, not here. Um, Francisco Javier. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Okay. Um, eh, Irene Susena. Irene Susena? No. Okay. Eh, uh, Jennifer Magali. Magali. Not here, Magali. Okay. Eh, Josue Alberto. Present teacher. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, Juana Francisco. Juan. Okay, perfect. Uh, Julio Cesar. Julio Cesar, I think he said that, that was not correct, right? Pero que puso, puso, um, Julio Cesar. Sí, que... está enfermo el hijo, por eso no va a poder estar, dijo. Cierto. Okay. Carla, Carla. Carla. No está. Okay. Um, Manuel Alejandro. Manuel Alejandro. Here, teacher. All right, wonderful. Eh, Manuel de Jesús. Manuel. Ahí está, ¿verdad? Present. Perfect. Mariela. Yes. Yes, same. All right. Marvin. Marvin? Present teacher. Wonderful. Eh, Warner. Warner? No? Warner, no? Okay. Ahí Warner. está, teacher. Ah, ¿verdad? Pero, pero no se le escucha. Yo creo que está teniendo problemas con audio. Okay. Eh, Noemi? Soy la Noemi. Soy la Noemi. Ok. Está. Eh, Yvonne. Yvonne, ¿no está? Yvonne. Ok. Todavía nos hace falta varios. Vaya. Um, si alguien tiene alguna. Ah, Magali. Oh, okay. okay, thank you, Magali. Vaya, le voy, va, voy a hacer el, el, el repaso. Quiero ver dónde está Magali, Magali, Magali. ¿Dónde está? Ay, ya no está Magali. Ya la vi. Ok. Um, va, vamos a hacer repaso. Eh, Edgar, ¿es Edgar here? At here. Ok, ahí estamos. Um, is Fabiola here? Fabiola? Present teacher, here. Uh, uh, Irena Susena? Present. Present. Julio uh, César, no. Carla Cano? Carla Cano? Carla, no. No. Uh, Noemi? Yvonne? Present. Okay. Okay, very good, guys. Um, bueno, thank you guys for being here on time. Como le decía allí en para los que acaban de entrar. Les puse ahí en el chat, ¿verdad? Que es bien, bien importante que ustedes se puedan conectar desde el principio a fin, especialmente ahora que solo son cuatro días que faltan de clase y ya no podemos reponer tiempo, ¿verdad? Si alguno de ustedes tiene preguntas en cuanto a cuánta, 
cuánto porcentaje llevan de clase hasta el momento. Le pueden mandar un, una, un, ¿cómo se llama? Un mensajito y preguntarme, ¿verdad? Para ello se los voy a, se los voy a dar personalmente, ¿verdad? Uh, ahora, eh, es importante, chicos, que como les decía anteriormente, no solamente que eh, se conecten, sino que se conecten a, a, a la hora, ¿verdad? Eh, a veces también, acuérdense, tenemos que tomar en cuenta que a veces hay inconvenientes como se nos fue la luz, se nos fue el internet y de repente usted ya no puede ingresar a clase. Entonces, por eso es que si pueden ustedes conectarse desde el principio, mucho que mejor. Mire, eh, por ejemplo, aquí tenemos al compañero Warner que um, creo que está teniendo algún problemita ahí con su su cámara, pero eh, ah, pudimos ver al principio que estaba conectado ahí en su carro, iba, iba manejando, pero iba ahí, estaba conectado. Entonces, um, en verdad, lo que sea, no importa, pero que no importa si, si uh, eh, pues van en el carro, donde sea que tengan ahí, pero conéctense para que no pierdan ese, ese, ese puesto, ¿verdad? O sea, sería... Lamentable que perdieran, que no pudieran ustedes continuar solo porque tienen menos del 80%. Parece que tengan 78, ¿verdad? No, 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 no tendría sentido. Así que por favor, no te conectarse lo más antes posible. Ok. All right. So let's start starting with the class. How did you guys do with the practice? I sent you some exercises for practice. Any, any problems? Were you able to do it? Um, any questions? Teacher, perdón, tal vez solo que apagar en los micrófonos porque se escucha interferencia. Okay, no worries. Okay, thank you. Vamos a apagar ahorita a todos. Okay. So, eh, how did you do with the, the exercises? Tell me, what did you think of the exercise? Eh, well, Let's remind, how many of you did the exercises? Put up your hand, your virtual hand. Levanten la manita virtual. Did you do the exercises that I sent? No, okay, good. Thank you, Josué. Alguien más? Okay. Uh, I have a a problem with uh, exercise 12, uh, question number five. Exercise 12 and question number five. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, but uh, it's incorrect. I use different ways. Hmm. Okay. Um, you were only, you only had to write, um, You only had to write um, so or such, right? Only that. ¿Verdad? O me equivoco. What? Um, you only had to write no. so or such. It is uh, complete. The, uh, I use, let me see. Number, what, which number did you say? Is number mm, is 12, uh, question number five. I uh, write, I didn't okay. fly to San Francisco last year, but I don't know what uh, is incorrect. Are you talking about the platform? Yep. Oh, oh you, you thought about another thing. What? <laughs> I'm talking about the exercises that I uh, that I sent you uh, for oh, practice. Man. Today I know I I put uh, me puse al día con lo demás. Ah, okay, no problem, no problem. Como les decía ahí en 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 el um, en el chat, lo que lo 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 primordial is the platform. That's the first thing you need to do the platform. If you finish the platform, you do extra practice, right? But first the, the platform. Okay, so did you do the, the exercises that I sent you, Jose Alberto? Um, no, no. no, not today. Mm, okay, But not today. There, uh, that the last exercise, yes. Okay, 
Okay. And uh, Juan Francisco, you did the exercises that I sent? ¿Usted lo intentó? Yes. Oh, yes, good. Good. Okay. How did you feel? Was it easy, difficult, so so? Uh, so so. Uh, it's, uh, I, I, I was difficult uh, in complex sentences. Como sería convertir a si no lo hicieron es porque trabajaron en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Fueron todos bien disciplinados y trabajaron en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. In my case. Yes, yes. teacher. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, sí, I, I know you guys are so, you, you guys are the best, right? So I, I know that you're going to, you, you, you finished all the platform today. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Um, you guys have any questions? Do you have any questions that you want to ask? Teacher, um, yeah. uh -huh. sorry. Um, can you uh, can you explain me what about the sock or so, please? Sorry, could you repeat that, uh, Francisco? Ah, que si puede ayudarme con um, la explicación de so o, o so. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I, I, I can help you, no problem. Uh, but, eh, ¿le parece si lo hacemos durante la clase? Porque tengo programado ahí hacerlo durante la clase. No sé si le parece. Okay, no hay problema. No okay, problem. good, all right, good. All right, um, and now, uh, Josué, you had, a you had a question about which exercise? No, um, Marvin sent me uh, the, the answer, and I check, I check, check it now, and it's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you don't need help. No, no. No. Okay. No, All right. Anybody need help with the? Are, are there any exercises from the platform that you have not understood? No? Okay, all right. All right, very good. Um, ahorita solo estoy metiendo los nombres de todos para que podamos hacer el próximo actividad. Así que solo de un chancecito mientras termino de escribir a todos. Casi termino. ¿Alguien quiere hacer alguna pregunta mientras tanto? ¿No? Ok. No, pues me... I'm going to I'm going to assume that everybody has finished like they're finished all the exercises from the platform until homework 16 and that there are no problems, right? There are no problems with the, the platform.
אוקיי. אוקיי, ya creo que tengo todos acá. All right, so uh, what we're going to do, let me share, first of all, the PowerPoint. Right, you can see, everybody can see this? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, teacher. All right, great. So this is a beginning module four. Unit four is accounting. It's day 17. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. The date is Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. Okay, so. What we're going to do is the following. I am going to um, spin the wheel. I'm going to have a random wheel picker. And in this random wheel picker, um, I'm, we're, we're going to have a, a, um, a winner, let's say. Okay. It's, we're going to have a winner. Um, no. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have a random wheel picker. And what we're going to do is um, we are going to be um, we're we going to be uh, choosing the winner. And the winner what is going to do is they're going to I'm going to show uh, a vocabulary that we learned yesterday. And that person that is the winner is going to have to make, um, you're going to be making a sentence using that vocabulary. Do you understand? Does that make sense, everybody? Okay. Vamos, a, vamos a hacerlo, vamos a hacer primero, aunque lo vamos a hacer, pero la, la persona que le toque esto va a tener que hacer otra oración. Okay. The first word here, is payments okay uh, now we saw this vocabulary yesterday so if you are the winner um so se le toca uh, entonces you are going to make a sentence with the word win uh, payments okay and um and then we're going to continue with the next person just one sentence with it you got it you understand Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay, so you're going, we're going to be uh, making sentence, just a sentence, one sentence. All right. Okay. Um, all right, please hold on. Give me a moment. All right. So here we go. Uh, vamos a... Okay, here we go. I'm going to set the wheel. So I said, um, ¿cómo se llama esto? Um, ¿Cómo se llama esto en español? Um, la ruleta. Okay, so we're going to do a, a wheel picker. Here we go. Ready? Okay. It's num what we're going so uh, the wheel has the wheel has picked Mariela. Okay, so Mariela, give me a sentence with payments. Uh, and I already want payday to come. Oh, oh, payment. Payments. Okay. Uh, All right. Pay. What are payments? Pagos. Uh huh. Good. So payments. Payments are. Is it something you do the payments? Do you receive the payments or you give the payments? Okay. Um. I have many payments to make. Good. All right. There you go, Mariela. Excellent. I have many payments to make. 
payments on uh, pagos is like when you have to give money, right? Okay, so la mayoría de gente no les gusta tener que hacer eso. Okay, so you would have to uh, be something like, okay, I have many payments to make. Okay, good, excellent. All right, next word. Um, next word is income taxes. Think about a sentence for income taxes. Vamos otra vez con la ruleta. Okay, and the winner is Magali. Is Magali here? Is a Magali here? No? Pensé que la había escuchado. No. Hmm. Okay, I guess no. No stomach value. Okay. All right, let's uh, eliminate that. Okay, here we go. Vamos a ver. Okay, and the winner is Noemi. I mean, you can make a sentence with the word income taxes. Mm, excuse me, teacher, I don't know what to do. A sentence. Create a sentence using the word income taxes. Any, any sentence using income taxes. I start in the class. Sorry? Hello. Hello. I don't know what to do. Okay, you create a sentence, any sentence using, using the word income taxes. In the sentence, you have to use the word income taxes. Income taxes. Mm -hmm. any, any, any sentence. Any sentence. Of the income taxes is um is a a reporting the, the control the page of taxes the a personal and or the companies. Um, okay. Okay. You don't have to give me a definition. No tiene que ser una definición. Solo utiliza la la palabra. Solo utiliza el vocabulario. Income taxes dentro de una oración. Ah, okay. Income taxes is important, but by because to control the the companies. The report uh, para Hacienda o algo así. Okay, okay, good. All right, excellent. Okay, let's continue. Here we go. The next person is. Okay, the next person is Manuel Alejandro. And then the word is builds. Manuel Alejandro. No tengo a Manuel Alejandro por ahí. Sí, verdad? Ah. Uh, I have to pay my bills in well, the finish the to the month. At the end of the month. 
Very good. I have to. And of the month. Yes, very good. Very, very good, Alejandro. Okay, here we go. Next one. And the word is payroll. Payroll. Okay, here we go. Okay, and the winner is Alejandra. Um, my boss. Sería. Mm, payroll. No me da sueldo. Sería. Hey, my job. This is a payroll. Oh. Um. My boss take the payroll to final of the month. Okay, my boss pays the payroll at the end of the month. Oh, okay, say. in the end of the month. Uh -huh. At the end of the month. At the end of the month. Okay, good, excellent. All right, very good. Okay, next word. Cash flow. All right, let's see. ¿Quién le toca? And the winner is... Ah, no, la winner no está acá. Otra vez le vamos a dar. The winner is... Oh, tampoco está acá. <laughs> okay, vamos a ver. Uh, Fabiola. <laughs> Fabiola is like, oh, no, not me. <laughs> okay. The cash flow is so important. In, in my work, for example. Cash flow is important at my work. Okay. Mm -hmm. So important in my world, my work, my company. Okay. Uh, sure. it's necessary. I no sé, teacher, como para qué. What is cash flow? Flujo de, de dinero. Uh -huh. no. So why is it important? Yes, it is uh -huh. It's so important. Um. <clears throat> Where do you um, Yeah. What? No, no, continue, continue. <laughs> Como para este Como para hacer nuevos proyectos también es importante. To make new projects. To make a project. new projects. New projects. Okay, okay. sure. <laughs> sure, why not? Very good. Excellent, Fabiola. Very good. Okay. All right, next word, balance sheet. Okay, balance sheet. Vayan pensando, ¿qué van a decir si les toca? Okay, and the winner is Yvonne. Um, I don't know how to do a balance sheet. Okay, all right. That sounds good. All right, I don't know how to do a balance sheet. Okay, all right, sounds good. Very good. Okay, next word. Income statements. Income statements, okay. And le toca a...
And the winner is Josue Alberto. Every year's company um, shall to share income statement with the government. Okay, sure. Very good, very, very good. Okay. Thanks. And not just sure. companies, but also we, right? We have to do our income statements, right? Good. Excellent. And I think there's one more. Una más. Sí, creo que esta es la última. Okay. All right. Ready? Vayan pensando. Vayan pensando que van a decir. Right? Equ equity statement. Equity statement. Que van a decir. Piénsenlo. Okay. Here we go. All right, Andres Giovanni. Muy difícil, teacher. Huh? Muy difícil. Eh? Ah, you could do it. I know you can. Tengo fe en usted. <sighs> Not sure. I don't know how to do this one. Come on, you can do it. Uh, my company has a good, how do you pronounce the first word? Equity. My company has a good equity statement, statement this year. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, very good, bravo. Excellent, Andres, very, very good. Okay, all right, and there you go, that's it. Ok, bravo, ok. No, un aplauso a todos los que participaron. Very, very good. Ok, very good, guys. All right, so, what did you guys think um, about the vocabulary? Was it ok? Was it easy? Difficult? How did you feel with this vocabulary? Some of them are difficult because um, in in Spanish we if we are not uh, accounting, uh, never use use it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. We don't. This is not norm. Like this is not vocabulary that we use every day. But it, when we're talking about, for example, income taxes income statements those things are very familiar for us especially in this moment right now march april everybody <laughs> has to do the income yeah. statements right so this is something that is real information for all of us right so yeah. um it's not you're right it's not something we would normally use like every day but certain yeah. times of the year we might need it Right. And words like bills, bills are like, I mean, we always talk about bills. Right. Um, so, yeah, that that this that's vocabulary that we're always going to use bills. Um, que mas usé? Did I have in there? Um, payroll. Payroll is also OK. That's also another word. For example, it's all the labor of is plenty of them. Mm hmm. And all of you are on payroll, right? You have to be, uh, well, on the payroll to be able to qualify for, for, um, eh, for this program, right? So, es, una, es un requisito, you have to be on the payroll. So you have to show the payroll for, to participate in the next module. So that is, that's also vocabulary that you're gonna need, right? Okay, um, let me see what else, what other vocabulary I have here. Okay. Um, okay. Income taxes, payments, payments. Quien no tiene payments? You, everybody has to make payments, right? So yes, there. I mean, some vocabulary you may not know, like for example, equity statements. Maybe you don't use that very much. Cash flow, maybe not 
everyday vocabulary. But yes, the majority of the vocabulary are things that we do use every day, or at least not every day, but, but very often. So it's very important that you guys um, uh, know that. Okay. All right, guys. Very good. Any questions about the vocabulary before we continue? What the meaning equity statement? Equity statement. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of equity statement? Who wants mm. to explain it for me? We saw this yesterday. So I would like you guys to tell me what is equity statement? Como el capital, no sé. El capital que uno puede tener o la empresa. No. Mm. El equipo. Like a balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a balance. Mm -hmm. Balance of what? The balance of what? Mm -hmm. the balance of what a balance to to know what is the real estate of the uh, uh, cash flow of uh, enterprise or business of the company yeah exactly basically it's the report of all the, the money that comes and goes to, out of the business Okay, that's it's it's a report of everything, all the money that comes in, goes out, the you know all of the all of the um, eh, what's it called? I, the, all of the what's it called? Um, the assets, liabilities of the of the of the company, everything. That's all. All of that is the equity statement. Okay, so you, a company needs to make an equity statement um, every so often to know what, what is the real um, value of the company, right? Does that make sense? No? Okay. Yes? Eh, eh, es este eh, como como hacer completamente una evaluación de la empresa con todos sus activos en base a los últimos ingresos, egresos que han habido? Mm -hmm. eh, Después de un balance los... general, digamos. Ajá, es como, sí, sí. Pero no es solo de lo reciente, es todo. So, like, um, normalmente las empresas van a hacer equity statements every like certain period. No solo de los recientes, pero tal vez por los últimos three months, the last six months, the last year. So it's a period of time. Yeah, teacher, but in Spanish, what, uh, que, que tipo de reporte podría ser en español? O sea, que no puede ser exactamente el mismo. O sea, no sé, un balance, balance general o algo así. O está um, el resultado. To be honest, in Spanish, I'm not quite sure of the vocabulary. Let me just give me, let's, let me just um, make sure here. Declaración de equidad, pero. Porque, o sea, me sonaba más como declaración patrimonial, pero o se ve en inglés, otra cosa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por uh, eso pensaba igual que es como patrimonio, capital, no sé. Ajá, uh -huh, eh. Se dice patrimonio neto, eh, capital social. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's everything. It's all everything that in, it's included in the company. Yeah, but it's a period of time that it's evaluated. It's not just, um, eh, it's not just recent. No, no lo más recientes es durante un periodo de tiempo. It could be, uh, you know, two months, three months, four months, six months, one year. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. It, it, it's uh, basically um, a result statement a lot of time. A what? It's a result statement a lot of time. A result statement 
of a yeah. for some time. Is the yeah. the the patrimonio uh, is is um the company um inversions inversions investments investments investments. Yes, but not only the investments, it's, it's everything, oh, all the money. Everything is everything uh, is all in the company. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Is, Every, everything that belongs to the company. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Including, including uh, even the, the employees, right? That All of that is part of the equity statement. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Okay, guys, any other vocabulary that you're having problems with? Any questions you want to ask me before we continue? So yes, this is vocabulary that maybe you don't know, uh, or better say you don't use every day of your life. Maybe, al menos que alguien aquí. ¿Hay alguien aquí que sea contador? Me. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Okay, so and Noemi, this is perfect for you. Okay, so this is exactly what, what you. This is your everyday life, right? This is what you what you look at. But for the majority of us, we don't use this all the time. But there are certain moments in our lives where we need to have things like, uh, you know, we need to have an accountant that helps us, especially with our or with our income statements right so we need to know and if we have in the future uh, does and if you in the future you want to have a company you need to know this vocabulary right is there anybody here that wants to have a company no nobody all right nobody that wants to have a company be the owner of the company yeah, I would like to have a company. Me. There you go. Okay. The primero, ¿quién más? Me. Okay, there you go. Marvin, too. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién le gustaría sí. tener su, su propio negocio? Okay. Francisco Javier, who else? Solo tres. Me. Okay. <laughs> ah, bye, I stop. Me, me, me. Ahora sí vienen todos los mis, mis. Okay, good. Yeah, and if you want to have your own business, you're going to have to know this vocabulary. Yeah, it, because um, it is something that's important in, in a business, right? And um, so, yeah, it's very important. Okay, we're going to continue, guys, here. Uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to explain the next activity. So, in the next activity, you are going to uh, listen for um, some, well, it's going to be a conversation. In the conversation, you are going to choose the best answer for the questions. Okay, so first I'm going to show you the question, uh, the questions that I need you to answer. Okay, so here we go. Um, Okay. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. So the man is speaking with his, his friend, his mom, his sister. How do you describe the man's current situation? Current is it, like the, the, in the moment. What is the situation of the man in the moment? He has a decent job but he's looking for a new one. B, he's in debt and is trying to borrow money. So he's in debt, he's in debt, he's in debt, and he's trying to borrow money. Está tratando de, de pedir dinero. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Eh, o oh, prestar dinero. He has a lot of expenses, including student loans. Expenses, so all expenses are those, um, eh, I guess the word of expenses. Um, 
gastos, okay? He has a lot of expenses, okay? The word expenses is gastos. So he has a lot of expenses, including student loans. What is this, what is a loan? Do you know what a loan is? No. No? No. No. Carga, no. Carga, no. Loan. No como préstamos. Es. Okay, good. All right, so it's student loan, un préstamo de estudiante. What that means is that when the when a, a, a bank gives you money to study, okay? So, eh, aquí, aquí las universidades no son tan caras por lo general, ¿verdad? La mayoría de las universidades... Eh, pues se puede costear un, algo bastante, que es bastante accesible. Pero en otros países como en Estados Unidos, eh, Canadá, etcétera, etcétera, es muy, muy, muy caro eh, poder estudiar. Son miles y miles de dólares que hay que invertir eh, cada año. Entonces las personas por lo general no tienen ese dinero y tienen que pagarlo todos los años esa cantidad. Entonces, lo que hacen es que le piden normalmente a los bancos que les den un préstamo para poder estudiar, para pagar la universidad. Y eso se llama a student loan. Después, cuando empiezan a trabajar, entonces empiezan a pagar ese, ese dinero. Entonces, la garantía es, digamos, el trabajo que van a tener después. ¿Ok? Does that make sense? Do we understand student loans? Yeah? Clear or no? Yeah? Yes, clear. Good. All right. Next, which sentence best describes the man's dining practices? Dining for like food, basically food practices. He tries to go out to eat every night. He prefers to eat alone. So only him. He doesn't know how to cook very well, so he's not a good cook. The man's apartment is an apartment downtown with free parking. Downtown, what is downtown? Pueblo. Mm, no, that's town. Centro de la ciudad. Centro. Uh -huh. El centro de la ciudad. Good, okay. So an apartment downtown, so un apartamento en el centro, with free parking. Or a small place with a nice view of the city. What is view? Vista. Vista. Okay, so a small place with a nice view of the city. A spacious apartment, spacioso, right? That includes cable TV. The woman suggests that the man stop spending money on entertainment. So stop spending the money on the entertainment. Or B, be careful when using his credit cards. Okay, tiene que ser cuidadoso. Or C, ought to get rid of his car to save money. Okay, get rid. Get rid is deshacerse. So he should get rid of his car to save money. Do we understand? What does out means? What? What does out? Oh, ought to. Ought to is in a, another way of saying should. You understand the word should? Yeah. Should is the same. Ought to, should is the same. Should okay. get rid, debería de. Okay, so he should get rid of, forget about his car to save money. Do we okay. understand this vocabulary? Yes. In rhyme. Sorry? What do men in get right? Get rid is deshacerse. Get rid. Deshacerse. 
Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other vocabulary you'd understand? All right. Which one? It can be oh, the second question. Mm -hmm. Which one? Meaning borrow. 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 Yep. Pedir, uh -huh. pedir prestado. Sure. Yeah. In the second question, letter C, what does it mean expenses? Expensive. What is expensive? Gastos. Gastos. Mm -hmm. Gastos. Any others? No? Okay. So, we understand the questions? Uh what do you use uh, dining? I don't remember that. Do you use uh, mm, food or something yeah, like that? Yeah, exactly. Like eating, eating practices. Eating. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? No? Sorrow. Sorry? Una pregunta, chicos? No? Okay. Bye. Vamos entonces. I'm going to put the audio and I'm going to put the I'm going to put the audio and then I'm going to get you guys to listen. Uh, sorry, and listen and choose. Okay? You ready? Okay, just give me a second. Vamos a ver. Solo denme un momento. Vale. Eh, vamos a hacer una prueba. Vamos, voy a poner eso y quiero, quiero que me digan si puede. Voy a tratar de proyectar el PowerPoint y me dicen si pueden escuchar el audio al mismo tiempo. Ok. Nada, no, verdad? No, no teacher. Power. No. Only power. No. Uh, no yet. Va, vamos a intentarlo de otra forma. Estoy tratando de ver cómo funcionaría mejor. ¿Ah? No. 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 Uh, can I borrow a few bucks and you'll pay it? Let's try this again, one more time. Let's have it. Let's see. We're going to try this one more time. Here we go. 
Could I borrow a few bucks until payday? I'm a little strapped for cash. Uh, yeah, I guess. But I'm pinching pennies myself, and you still owe me twenty dollars from last week.、Oh. And Mom and your friend Ron said that you borrowed money from them this past week. Oh yeah. And how are things going anyway? Well, not very well. To be honest, I'm really in a hole, and I can't seem to make ends meet these days. What do you mean? I thought you'd landed a great job recently, so you must be loaded. Well, I do have a job, but I've used my credit cards to pay off a lot of things recently. But now I can't seem to pay the money off.、Uh, do you have a budget? I mean, how do you keep track of your income and expenses? Well, when my money runs out, I come to you, of course. Great. No, but I guess I should have some financial plan. Well, let's see if I can help you. How much money do you spend on your apartment? Uh, I pay eight hundred ninety dollars on rent for the studio apartment downtown, not including utilities and cable TV. But the place has an awesome view of the city. Uh, eight hundred and ninety. Why are you paying through the nose for such a small place when you could find a cheaper one somewhere outside of the downtown area? Yeah, I guess. Okay. How much money do you spend on food a month?、Hmm, well, I'm not really sure. I think I spend about six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars? Well, I go out to eat at least four times a week, so the expenses add up. I just don't enjoy eating alone, and I don't have a knack for cooking like you do. Well, I can understand that, but perhaps you ought to buy some microwavable meals you could just prepare at home. Well, I guess I could. And entertainment? Well, I spend a few dollars here and there on basketball and movie tickets, a concert or two, and ballroom dance lessons. Ah,、uh, exactly. How much do you spend on all of these? Just a few dollars? Well,、oh, about four hundred dollars or so. Or so. No wonder you're having money problems. You just can't blow your money on things like that. And what about transportation? Well, I commute to work every day in my new sports car. But I got a great deal, and my monthly payments are only four hundred fifty dollars a month. Come outside and take a look. We can go for a spin. No, I've heard enough. You've got to curb your spending, or you'll end up broke. I suggest you get rid of your credit cards,、Aww. cut back on your entertainment expenses, and sell your car.、Huh? Take public transportation from now on. Sell my car? I can't date. Without a car, what am I gonna say?、Uh, could you meet me downtown at the bus stop at seven? Come on! And you need to create a budget for yourself and stick to it. <sighs> and start with paying off your bills, starting with me. You owe me fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Wait, I only borrowed twenty dollars from you last week. How did you come up with fifty? Financial consulting fees. My advice is at least worth thirty. <sighs> did you get the answers, or do you want to hear it again? Tipo este mancarrota. Huh? El tipo está en bancarrota. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, they, Absolutely. He want to change their habits. Yeah, he definitely has to change his habits. You're absolutely right. Okay, do you want to hear it again? Yes. Yes, please. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, could I borrow a few bucks until payday? I'm a little strapped for cash. Ah,、uh, yeah, I guess. But I'm pinching pennies myself, and you still owe me twenty dollars from last week.、Mm. And Mom and your friend Ron said that you borrowed money from them this past week. Oh yeah. And how are things going anyway? Well, not very well. To be honest, I'm really in a hole, and I can't seem to make ends meet these days. What do you mean? I thought you'd landed a great job recently, so you must be loaded. Well, I do have a job, but I've used my credit cards to pay off a lot of things recently. But now I can't seem to pay the money off.、Uh, do you have a budget? I mean, how do you keep track of your income and expenses? Well, when my money runs out, I come to you, of course. Great. No, but I guess I should have some financial plan. Well, let's see if I can help you. How much money do you spend on your apartment? Uh, I pay eight hundred ninety dollars on rent for the studio apartment downtown, not including utilities and cable TV. But the place has an awesome view of the city. Uh, eight hundred and ninety. Why are you paying through the nose for such a small place when you could find a cheaper one somewhere outside of the downtown area? Yeah, I guess. Okay. How much money do you spend on food a month?、Hmm, well, I'm not really sure. I think I spend about six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars? Well, I go out to eat at least four times a week, so the expenses add up. I just don't enjoy eating alone, and I don't have a knack for cooking like you do. 
Well, I can understand that, but perhaps you ought to buy some microwavable meals you could just prepare at home. Well, I guess I could. And entertainment? Well, I spend a few dollars here and there on basketball and movie tickets, a concert or two, and ballroom dance lessons. Uh, exactly how much do you spend on all of these? Just a few dollars? Well, oh, about four hundred dollars or so. Or so. No wonder you're having money problems. You just can't blow your money on things like that. And what about transportation? Well, I commute to work every day in my new sports car, but I got a great deal, and my monthly payments are only four hundred fifty dollars a month. Come outside and take a look. We can go for a spin. No, I've heard enough. You've got to curb your spending, or you'll end up broke. I suggest you get rid of your credit cards,、Aww. cut back on your entertainment expenses, and sell your car.、Huh? Take public transportation from now on. Sell my car? I can't date. Without a car, what am I gonna say?、Uh, could you meet me downtown at the bus stop at seven? Come on! And you need to create a budget for yourself and stick to、uh-huh. it. And start with paying off your bills, starting with me. You owe me fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Wait, I only borrowed twenty dollars from you last week. How did you come up with fifty? Financial consulting fees. My advice is at least worth thirty. <sighs> did you get the answer, or do you want to hear it again? Sam, answer. You got the answers. I have, I have some answers. Yes,、no. some answers. Okay, so you want to hear it again? Yes, please. please. Yes. Okay. Eh, voy a nuevamente dígame si puede escucharlo o no. Uh, can I borrow a few bucks until payday? I'm a little strapped for cash. Ah,、uh, yeah, I guess. But I'm pinching pennies、yeah. myself, and you、yeah. still owe me twenty dollars from last week.、Oh. And Mom and your friend Ron said that you borrowed money from them this past week. Oh yeah. And how are things going anyway? Well, not very well. To be honest, I'm really in a hole, and I can't seem to make ends meet these days. What do you mean? I thought you'd landed a great job recently, so you must be loaded. Well, I do have a job, but I've used my credit cards to pay off a lot of things recently. But now I can't seem to pay the money off.、Uh, do you have a budget? I mean, how do you keep track of your income and expenses? Well, when my money runs out, I come to you, of course. Great. No, but I guess I should have some financial plan. Well, let's see if I can help you. How much money do you spend on your apartment? Uh, I pay eight hundred ninety dollars on rent for the studio apartment downtown, not including utilities and cable TV. But the place has an awesome view of the city. Uh, eight hundred and ninety. Why are you paying through the nose for such a small place when you could find a cheaper one somewhere outside of the downtown area? Yeah, I guess. Okay. How much money do you spend on food a month?、Hmm, well, I'm not really sure. I think I spend about six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars? Well, I go out to eat at least four times a week, so the expenses add up. I just don't enjoy eating alone, and I don't have a knack for cooking like you do. Well, I can understand that, but perhaps you ought to buy some microwavable meals you could just prepare at home. Well, I guess I could. And entertainment? Well, I spend a few dollars here and there on basketball and movie tickets, a concert or two, and ballroom dance lessons.、Uh, exactly how much do you spend on all of these? Just a few dollars? Well,、oh, about four hundred dollars or so. Or so. No wonder you're having money problems. You just can't blow your money on things like that. And what about transportation? Well, I commute to work every day in my new sports car, but I got a great deal, and my monthly payments are only four hundred fifty dollars a month. Come outside and take a look. We can go for a spin. No, I've heard enough. You've got to curb your spending, or you'll end up broke. I suggest you get rid of your credit cards,、Aww. cut back on your entertainment expenses, and sell your car.、Huh? Take public transportation from now on. Sell my car? I can't date. Without a car, what am I gonna say?、Uh, could you meet me downtown at the bus stop at seven? Come on! And you need to create a budget for yourself and stick to、uh-huh. it. And start with paying off your bills, starting with me. You owe me fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Wait, I only borrowed twenty dollars from you last week. How did you come up with fifty? Financial consulting fees. My advice is at least worth thirty. <sighs> you got it, or do you want to hear it again? So you want to hear it again? Yes? No? Do you have the answers? There are many answers to that question.、Um, no,、nope, there's actually only one. Only one answer.
Do you want to hear it one more time? Let's stamp it. Um, Una vez okay. más? Okay. All right. So here we go. One more time. Uh, could I borrow a few bucks until payday? I'm a little strapped for cash. Uh, yeah, I guess. But I'm pinching pennies myself, and you still owe me $20 from last week. Oh. And Mom and your friend Ron said that you borrowed money from them this past week. Oh, yeah. And how are things going anyway? Well, not very well. To be honest, I'm really in a hole, and I can't seem to make ends meet these days. What do you mean? I thought you'd landed a great job recently, so you must be loaded. Well, I do have a job, but I've used my credit cards to pay off a lot of things recently. But now I can't seem to pay the money off. Uh, do you have a budget? I mean, how do you keep track of your income and expenses? Well, when my money runs out, I come to you, of course. Great. No, but I guess I should have some financial plan. Well, let's see if I can help you. How much money do you spend on your apartment? Uh, I pay $890 on rent for the studio apartment downtown, not including utilities and cable TV, but the place has an awesome view of the city. Uh, $890? Why are you paying through the nose for such a small place when you could find a cheaper one somewhere outside of the downtown area? Yeah, I guess. Okay, how much money do you spend on food a month? Hmm, well, I'm not really sure. I think I spend about $600. $600? Well, I go out to eat at least four times a week, so the expenses add up. I just don't enjoy eating alone, and I don't have a knack for cooking like you do. Well, I can understand that, but perhaps you ought to buy some microwavable meals you could just prepare at home. Well, I guess I could. And entertainment? Well, I spend a few dollars here and there on basketball and movie tickets, a concert or two, and ballroom dance lessons. Uh, exactly how much do you spend on all of these? Just a few dollars? Well, oh, about $400 or so. Or so? No wonder you're having money problems. You just can't blow your money on things like that. And what about transportation? Well, I commute to work every day in my new sports car. But I got a great deal and my monthly payments are only $450 a month. Come outside and take a look. We can go for a spin. No, I've heard enough. You've got to curb your spending or you'll end up broke. I suggest you get rid of your credit cards, Aww. cut back on your entertainment expenses, and sell your car. Huh? Take public transportation from now on. Sell my car? I can't date without a car what am i gonna say uh could you meet me downtown at the bus stop at seven come on and you need to create a budget for yourself and stick to uh -huh. it and start with paying off your bills starting with me you owe me fifty dollars fifty dollars wait i only borrowed twenty dollars from you last week how did you come up with fifty financial consulting fees my advice is at least worth thirty uh. okay all right there we go so i think we've we've heard it quite enough now, before we continue, I need to take attendance. Just give me a moment. Okay. Alejandra uh, Maria? Here. Perfect. Uh, Andres Giovanni? Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Edgar? Edgar Alfredo. Good evening, teacher. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Uh, all right, Elsie. Elsie Janet. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Fabiola. Present, teacher. <laughs> Great. Uh, Francisco Javier. Present. Okay, just give me a moment. Give me one moment. Yo no ves la mano. Lo voy a dejar ahí. Continuamos. Um, eh, Irene Susana. Present. Ok. Uh, Fabiola, tengo una pregunta para usted. Antes de cualquier cosa. Us ¿Usted subo en la clase el, el, el viernes? No. Ok. Ok. Um,
Ok, uh, let's see, continue. So, Irene Susena, sí, ¿verdad? Ok. Sí, present. All right, good. Uh, Jennifer Magali. Present. Ok, good. Uh, Josué Alberto. Present, the chair. Ok. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present, teacher. Ok, good. Julio César. No, right. Carla Cano. Present teacher. Wonderful. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Great. Right. Manuel de Jesús. Present. Good. Mariela. Present. Good. Uh, Marvin Wilfredo. Present teacher. Good. Werner. Present teacher. Sola Noemi. Present teacher. Great. Suleima. Present. All right. Good. Excellent. Okay. Va. Sigamos. Um, all right. Good. All right. So we're going to check the answers right now. Uh, all right. So here we go. So let's look at the first one. Um, Okay, so um, let's go with the first one. The the what the man is speaking with his sister, his friend, his friend, sister. I think his friend. Yeah. It's his sister. His sister, really. She yeah. is the mom on the, yes, algo así. Yeah, she, yeah. Said, she said, she mentioned, you, I, I heard you borrowed money from mom. Yeah. So, so if you say you borrow money from mom, que tu le prestas dinero a mamá. So obviously, he, he, they're talking about brother and sister, right? Because you don't go around <laughs> saying, but, your friend, right? That you could be a friend saying he knows her mom. Yeah, but you'd say your mom, not mom. Our mom. Uh -huh. um. Yeah, you would just, because in, like even in Spanish, you say, uh, le, le, le prestaste dinero a mamá. Okay. No, right? You, if you would say, if it's a friend, you would say a tu mamá, right? Which, so, but he said you borrowed money from mom or you owe money from, uh, you owe mom money or something like that. Okay. All right, next. How do you describe the man's current situation? Uh, he's, he's in, in depth, depth and he's and trying, he's to, trying borrow to borrow money. money. Yeah, exactly. He's in depth and he's trying to borrow money. Definitely. He wants to borrow money from his sister, right? Okay, good. Which sentence best describes a man's dining practices? He tries to eat every night. No. No. Letter B. Oh, he doesn't know how Letter. to cook very well. He Letter. prefers to eat alone. No. No, it doesn't, doesn't know how to go there. Yeah, uh, he does. He goes out a lot, but not every night. Okay, and he doesn't like to eat alone, right? He likes to eat with other people. He he like he's very sociable. Okay, so the answer is C. The man's apartment is a small, a small place, place, with place with nice view. Good. A small place with a, a nice small view. place with a nice view of the of city. That city. Yes, very good. It is downtown, but it doesn't have. They, they don't mention free parking. Everything's very yeah. expensive. Okay, so so it is a small place, and because it's downtown, it has a nice view of the city. The woman suggests the man. Stop Should spending money on entertainment. Yeah, uh, no. 
Should get rid of his car to save money. Right. Should get rid of the car to save money. And he's like, what? I can't date, you know, without a car, right? So she doesn't say stop spending money on gaming. She says cut down, reduce, but not to stop spending money. Okay. On the entertainment, okay? All right, there you go. Those are the answers. How did you do? ¿Cuántos se sacaron? Four. Four? Um, but it's um, to 10. Uh, two, yeah, exactly. two, correct. Four out of five. If you got four out of five, you two. got 80%. Yeah. Right. Four. You got four correct, so you got 80%. No, 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 no. I have three. Four correct. Three correct, you got 60%. Okay. Four correct. Four correct, you got 80%. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. All right, let's stop that. I'm gonna be stopping this. All right, so how did you guys feel with this exercise? How did you like, how did you feel with the exercise? It was it easy, difficult? Okay. Nice. Did you like it? Did you um, it? The vocabulary, the new vocabulary. Mm. And they are speaking slowly. Fast, fast. Oh, yeah, fast. Slow, slowly, no. No, 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 slowly. Not slowly, but it is very fast. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I, I agree. Even, even yeah. for... Even I think as as um, the standards for for native speakers, I think he speaks fast. Mm -hmm. Especially he he speaks. Fast. What can we do to have a a better listening comprehension? Well, practice. That's the only thing I can tell you. Practice, 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 practice. Um, remember what I was telling you before. Uh, about using your time outside of class to listen to music and TV and things like that. Even if you're not, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you a little hint. Even if you're not really listening to it, but just getting your 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 ear adjusted to it, like uh, just making your ear get used to the the sounds, it will be easier for you to pick them up. Right? O sea, se afina, el, el, el oído se afina. Eh, aunque usted ni siquiera esté prestando atención a lo que dice, pero se va afinando. You, you, little by little, you start picking up the, the words and it's, it becomes easier for you. So expose yourself as much as possible. Eh, you know, if you're going out and you're by yourself, use um, earphones or headphones and listen to music. Um, you know, or anything, anything at all, um, you know, on YouTube or things like that, right? So that, that's always going to help you, okay? And yes, do a lot of um, listening activities too. There are a lot of listening activities on the, uh, on the internet that you can go to, okay? Yeah. All right, anything else? Any other questions, comments, suggestions? No? We're okay? Okay. Okay. Um, I think, uh, Marvin, you were the one you were, you were asking about uh, so and such? Uh, is Francisco. What's Francisco? Oh, Francisco. 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 So Francisco, you were asking about so and such. Sorry. You were asking about so and such. You wanted me to explain. Yeah, yeah, please. Okay. All right, the time has come for me to explain. But this is uh, so and such. Um, this is 
so and such is um what we saw yesterday and what i'm just going to do is go is do a quick review of it okay so it so and such both of them mean it's like saying very so it's it's um it's very the sim the similar it's a similar meaning to the word very okay like when you say in spanish tan tan that means that it's it's yeah it's um so and and the thing with the so is that we always use it uh with adjectives so to give an example if you wanted to Okay, so if you want to, it would be okay to do this. Okay, now this is correct. These sentences are correct. It is necessary for the company. It is important to check the reports. The projects were, were well made. Our ideas were imaginative. These sentences are correct. There is nothing wrong with these sentences. But what happens when I add the word so to them is that the word so adds more of a, um, an emphasis. Okay, this is emphasizing. So instead of just saying, instead of saying it is necessary for the company, which in Spanish would be es necesario para la compañía, I could say it is so necessary for the company, which means es tan necesario para la compañía, which means that it's more giving more emphasis, okay? So we use this, we use the word so and such to talk about emphasis, okay? Is that clear for everybody? Yeah. Yes, Carla? Are there, did you have a question? Are there a difference between so and such? Yes, there is. I'm, okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and that's what I'm going to explain. So this is for emphasis, okay? So and such mean the same thing, okay? But how do you know when you're gonna be using um, so and when you're gonna be using such? Like I said, it, it's also not only for so, but also for such, it's possible for me to eliminate it, okay? It's possible for me to eliminate it and say, So it's okay to say it is a creative program. It is a significant investment. The report was a useful tool before. The last product was a big success. That's okay. There's nothing wrong. But if I add the word such, then what happens is that I'm given an emphasis. So instead of saying, instead of saying, it is, um, it is a creative program, which means is un programa um, creativo. I can say it is such a creative program. Is un programa tan creativo. So it makes it more emphasis. Does that make sense? Yes? No? Yeah, I got it, but 
como que es más utilizable el so, el so es como que no, no mucho. Yes, yes it is, yes it is. Now let me explain to you when, when do you so and when do you such. I just want you to yeah. understand that both of them are used for emphasis, okay? These are to give emphasis. Now, when do you know when to use so? Very simple. You use so when we have. Give me a moment. We use so for adjectives or adverbs. Oops. Oh, just a moment. Just give me one second. All right, so we use so when we have, when it follows an adjective or an adverb, okay? So if you notice after the word so, okay, so after we have the word so um, here, so, 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 and so, and after so, we use <coughs> an adjective or an adverb. Necessary, important, and imaginative are adjectives. Todos esos son adjetivos. Necessary, important, imaginative. They are all adjectives. And well, it's an adverb. So, si tenemos un, si, si, si sigue un adjective or adverb, un adjetivo or un adverbio, you're going to be using so. Okay? Is that pretty clear? Clear or not clear? Clear. Yes? Questions? Mm -hmm. Questions, anybody? Anybody have any questions? I get so in here. No? no? Okay. All right. Now, with such, such is used the same as so, it means done, but that is used when we have a noun. Such is used with a noun, okay? It, and sometimes the noun can have an adjective before it, but we're always gonna find the noun. For example, it says, it is such a creative program. It is such a significant investment. The report was such a useful tool. The last product was such a big success. So if you noticed, um, we have such, 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 and such, okay? Now, after the such, we use a noun. The noun that we use is, for example, a program is the noun. A, uh, sorry, a, okay, an investment, a tool, and a success. But like I said, you can also use an adjective before there to describe the noun. And in this case, we have used creative. 
creative, significant, useful, and big are all adjectives. Okay? So, but the important here, thing here is that we use a noun. Okay? It's a noun. And the, the adjective is just describing the noun. Here it's describing a program. Here it's describing an investment. Here it's describing the tool. And here it's describing success, the success. Does that make sense? Questions? It's okay or it's not okay? Yes, no, maybe. Chicos, cuéntenme. Yes, yes. Está <laughs> <laughs> so. Eh, teacher, entonces en such, en such debe de llevar el adjetivo mmm, o el nombre, o el adjetivo más el nombre. No, no nombre. Now. Nombre. Sustantivo. Ah, perdón. O sustantivo. Okay. Que a veces va a llevar el adjetivo, no siempre. Pero, no siempre. Okay. Ah, por eso le puse aquí en, en paréntesis. Okay. Y, y con so. Siempre llevaría, a, solo podría ser también el adjetivo. No, pues so you need the adjective. Ah, oh, ok. It's important, you have to have the adjective. Ok. Es que aquí en realidad lo que estamos escribiendo es el, el, el sustantivo. Uh -huh. Y el, el adjective solo le, le agrega información al sustantivo. Aquí estamos escribiendo el adjetivo o el adverbio. Ok. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Any other questions? No? Okay. So I'm guessing everybody understands. This is okay, right? No, 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 no. No? No. Uh, what about aid? It's a noun. Okay. Um, Ok, no, hay una forma más, más fácil de, de entenderlo, pregunto, eh, porque si es con lo de los sustantivos y, y, y los adjetivos, eh, no, definitivamente no, no. No lo entendemos ni en español. No, no, lo, no lo puedo cuadrar. No, no. Ok, okay pero... ¿Qué es, un ¿Qué es un adjetivo? Lo que califica. Uh -huh. Lo que describe. Lo que describe al, al nombre o al objeto. Important, big, small, eh, purple, blue, eh, uh, beautiful, ugly, um, uh, insignificant, significant, uh, creative, imaginative. Those are all adjectives. Si describe algo, si lo está describiendo, that's an adjective. Okay? Okay. Is that clear? Okay. Uh, in, in, la, in la parte de SOC, um, It's not di, clear. digamos que va como, como siempre la, la partícula del A o, o alguna otra partícula por ahí después de... No, no necesariamente. Aquí porque solo es uno. Entonces pones... Pero es, por eso es que le... O sea, esto es parte del noun. Aquí solo está describiendo que es solo uno, pero podría ser plural. ¿Ya? El, el, el A solamente es... es le, lo único que le está diciendo es que el sustantivo es singular. Pero, no, puede, no, igual, pero puede ir un, un an o, o, o yeah, un as, simple. Yeah, o sea, es, es como una pequeña pista para decir, eh, ok, aquí puede, tiene que ir el soc, no so. Podría uh, ser. Uh -huh. No, no, no necesariamente, no. No, no, no. 
Solamente que es, eh, no, no, no se rijan por la palabra A, porque el A puede estar ahí o pues, no puede estar ahí. Si es, si es plural, no va a estar A, porque la, el A solo significa uno. Y entonces, si es plural, no va a estar ahí. ¿Ok? Any other questions? No? I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example of one that doesn't have the word ah. So you can see that it's not necessary. Um, I'll do it in black. They are such great people. They are such great people. So here we have the word such. Such. We have the word such there. And we notice that we are describing the people, right? People, personas. And we have a an, an, an adjective that describes the people. And the adjective is great. Does have any say? others uh, made in suck? Such. such. Suck. Such. Such. Mm -hmm. What is your question, Francisco? Um, um, many other or other um, means such, such. What is? What do you mean the order? Okay. Hay otra. Tiene otro significado, such. Oh yeah. Yeah. But don't don't worry about that right now. Right now. What's important is this. Así como muchas otras palabras tienen estos significados. Ahorita estamos aprendiendo esto. Okay. Yeah. Okay. O sea que no no. O sea ahorita estamos aprendiendo cuando estamos dando énfasis. Emphasis. Okay. And so when we give an emphasis, we're going to be using so with adjectives and such with nouns. Okay, nouns. What are okay? What are nouns? We have to we have to understand what are nouns. What are nouns? Vaya, díganme qué son nouns. Tienen que saber qué son nouns porque si no saben qué son nouns, <laughs> vamos a estar perdidos. I don't have what about nouns. What are nouns? Sustantivos. Son los sustantivos. Ah, ¿y qué son los sustantivos? Son los que califican. Mm. Ah, en este caso, ahí está diciendo great people. Uh, great es el adjetivo y, y, no, es, okay. y people es el. What is, what is a noun? El noun. Uh -huh. I want to know what is a noun. And... People. Que lo distingue. Los eh. tacal. There are four things that could be nouns. Teacher. People. People are nouns. Okay. Animals are nouns. Places are nouns, and things are nouns. Okay, nouns are people, animal, places, and things. Las personas son sustantivos. Los animales son sustantivos. Los lugares son sustantivos. Y las cosas son sustantivos. 
okay? So when I say they are such great people, I'm saying ellos son tan buenas personas. Okay? Is that pretty clear? Does that make more sense, Francisco? Teacher, que quizá, bueno, no logro digerirlo realmente porque era pésimo el lenguaje. Ok. No entiendo la clasificación de esto. But what exactly do you not understand, Francisco? I need to understand qué parte, porque no puedo explicarle qué es, no le puedo explicar lo que no entiende si no me dice exactamente qué parte es la que no le entiende. Ok. Um, si yo me pongo a leerlo, it is such a creative program, y, y no, no puedo cuadrarlo. Okay, it is, what is it is? Es algo. Okay, es. Ah, good. Uh, a program? Yeah, this is, is a program, okay. Program. Creative? Creativo. Creativo, entonces estamos diciendo, es un programa creativo. Pero si digo, es tan un programa creativo. No, 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 bye. No vamos, a seguir español, no vamos a seguir la orden en español. Agrégueme la idea de tan. Es un programa creativo. ¿Cómo, ¿A dónde lo pondría el tan? Es un programa tan creativo. Tengo ah, que ordenarlo. Exacto. Es un programa tan creativo. Do you remember what I told you a few days ago? ¿Se acuerdan lo que les estaba diciendo? No traduzcan. ¿Y por qué les decía que no traduzcan? Porque si empezamos a traducir, de decir palabra por palabra, o sea, la idea sí, la idea general está bien, pero palabra por palabra, entonces nos vamos a confundir porque obviamente en español sigue una regla gramatical y en inglés sigue otra regla gramatical. Entonces, eh, en español, el such, el tan, no va al principio. En español le pone, es un programa tan creativo. Entonces la palabra tan va a, eh, después del de la... programa. Del programa. Uh -huh. Entonces, y aquí va, eh, va antes. Entonces no podemos ponerlo palabra por palabra, ¿verdad? Porque son dos, dos idiomas diferentes, dos gramáticas diferentes. Entonces no, no hagan esa traducción. Solamente la idea general. ¿Ok? Oh, here. Oh, sí. A significant investment. What is in, uh, what is investment? It's in investment. ¿Alguien sabe? Inversión. Inversión. Significant. Significante. Significativa. 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 And so it is a significant investment. ¿Qué diría? Es una inversión. Es una inversión tan significativa. Es una inversión significativa. Uh -huh. And ahora agregue el tan. Es una inversión. Es una inversión, inversión tan, tan significativa. significativa. There you go. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good. The same thing. The report was a useful tool before. Okay, pero. It, yo digo lo que no entiendo, lo, lo que no logro cuadrarme. El, el, el resto de los compañeros, ¿qué no entienden? Porque quisiera ver las diferentes aristas del problema que tenemos acá. Bueno, ahorita, bueno, en mi caso igual estaba como medio perdida, pero ahorita con esa explicación que Cabal eh, era porque en el sol lo estábamos traduciendo diferente. Eh, bueno, es es tan necesario para la compañía y en el otro es como que está calificando al programa de creativo entonces ahora entiendo que como claro este, no se utiliza en el mismo orden que el español pero ahora sí entiendo el, el tan creativo uh -huh. good, good, exactly 
En mi caso, uh -huh. yo le entendí, o sea, más o menos a las la dos formas como usarlo, pero de la forma como yo hablo, no utilizo ni en español el tan, o sea, por eso le decía que utilizo más el so, porque es como más común para mí hacerlo. Ok, that's fine. That's fine. You don't have to always use it, use it but you need to know that it exists. Yeah. Ya, o sea, no les estoy diciendo tienen que usar esto siempre, pero sí tienen que saber que sí existe para que mm -hmm. cuando lo vean lo entiendan. Ya. Yeah. Teacher, entonces cuando utilizas el search es lo que estás haciendo es uh, lo haces más más específico, más lo pronuncias más porque usted dijo en el ejemplo es es, eh, es la, la, la inversión es, es significativa, pero cuando tú dices la inversión es tan significativa, es como que lo hace más específico. Entonces, eh, esa, es como la, la, esa es como la diferencia de por qué más énfasis en la palabra correcta. Exactly. Exactly. Utilizando el search, es, es, eso es básicamente lo que hace. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you, Edgar. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Oh, eh, ¿Qué tal, Francisco? ¿Cómo vamos ahora? Sí, 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 cuando ya se, se, se traduce, o sea, la forma de traducirlo ya es un, un reacomodo de palabras completamente. Lo logro entender mejor, eh, en definitiva. Ok, good, good. Como les vuelvo, les vuelvo a recordar, no traduzcan palabra por palabra, orden por orden, porque estamos hablando de... de la, guineos y, y manzanas, ¿va? No son, uh -huh. no son iguales, no podemos calificarlo, no podemos, o sea, son, fru son frutas, ¿cierto? Pero, pero son muy diferentes la una de la otra, más si estamos hablando de una manzana verde, ¿va? <risa> ¿verdad? Entonces, imagínense, no puede comparar o sea, un guineo con una manzana verde, son muy diferentes. ¿verdad? O sea, uno incluso es muy dulce y el otro puede ser hasta muy um, ácido. ¿verdad? Entonces, son muy diferentes. Pues no podemos. Um, so the same thing. We can't compare English and Spanish and say, ah, pero es que en español lo hacemos así. Entonces, esto no tiene sentido. Y eso es lo que pasa cuando, cuando estamos diciendo palabra por palabra. Entonces, ahí donde se pierde todo, porque en español la mente y la orden no es la misma. Hay uh -huh. palabras incluso que no existen. Por ejemplo, póngase a pensar, la palabra it en realidad no existe en español. No existe. ¿Por qué? Porque en español a todas las cosas le decimos él o ella, ¿verdad? Si estamos hablando de algo... Una, uno de sus sustantivos que es masculino decimos él y si les hablamos de un sustantivo o un, una cosa que es femenina decimos ella entonces la palabra it realmente no existe tal como realmente es en inglés porque en it en inglés lo utilizamos para algo inanimado ¿verdad? entonces ya van, van entendiendo no podemos hacer ese cambio de decir que vamos a darle un significado a toditas las palabras en inglés. Mm -hmm. All right, is that clear for everybody? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, what we're going to do now is the following. Right, now you have the, you have the, the, the ideas, and we have a few more minutes, so I'm going to Uh, be showing, I'm going to be showing you some exercises. Si quieren pueden tomarle captura de imagen. Okay. Ready? No. No? Great. Thank you. Okay, good. We're going to begin. Um, I'm going to get you to work in groups, uh, sorry, in pairs. 
plus five, six, zero, seven, one pairs. And you're going to decide so or such. Eso es todo. No se compliquen. So, se, vean si dicen so or such. De hecho, chicos, um, sé que algunos dicen tengo problemas con eso, pero en realidad el día de ayer re resolvimos la, las oraciones bien rápido. Así que sí, creo que sí lo, lo entienden mejor de lo que piensan. Y para los que no lo han hecho, creo que, que es la mayoría, um, utilizan el, los ejercicios que les mandé de, de tarea, de la, en la tarea o oh, bueno, en la práctica. Okay, so let's get you guys to work in groups. No, sorry, in pairs. Um, and all right, let's open up all the rooms. Go ahead, join your group. Edgar, Magali, do you have any problems joining? Magali? Magali? So say? Mm -hmm. okay. Number two, he speak Chinese. Uh, so well. No. No, so well. So well. Okay. Number two, so Julie is a good right. Julie is a good right. 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 Julie is such a good right. Creo que ahí dice such. Sí, ahí dice such porque lleva el noun. Uh -huh. She swings so quickly. El nombre cuatro. The swimming, the swim so quickly. She sí. swims so quickly. Uh -huh. For is so. And number three, uh, Yuli is such a good winter. Writer, it's, it's, writer. Es, es, es lo que estaba diciendo, o sea, que, que esa partícula te da una, una cierta noción. Ya. Yeah. Such. It is correct, teacher. It is correct, yes. Very good. For so quickly. Five here. Yeah, it was late. Okay. El objetivo es el que califica el nombre. Uh -huh. Y el soch es para nouns, para los nombres. Sí. <laughs> Vaya, por ejemplo, en la número uno. Uh, sería they were como uh, happy es un un adjetivo sería they were yes. ajá, they were so happy so happy ajá el número dos es igual ajá. well es un adjetivo sería he speaks Chinese so well Jul is so good Aquí en, en, en la tercera dice que so es el, ¿cómo se llama el otro? Sí, el, 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 el adjective y el noun. Y el noun, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, a number two. Julia is such 
a good writer. Ajá, el adjective es good y, y el noun es writer. A writer, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, number four. El otro es the swims so quickly. So quickly, sí, correcto. El siguiente dice, uh, it was so late. So late we missed the last uh -huh. train. Train. Last train. Yes. The shop had so few vegetables. Mm -hmm. at, uh, and that, at that time, that we grew up, we were on. Sería so. So, correct. It's correct. Finish. Okay. You guys are finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. Oh, hey. Excellent. Congratulations. All right. Any Thanks. questions? Any problems? No. I don't have. Mm. Uh, no, it's okay. Yes, okay. So uh the book bookworm. <laughs> Hi, hi, bookworm is uh Raton de Biblioteca. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. Very good. Ahí es una como es una composición de, de dos palabras, ¿verdad? Que van unidas, por eso yeah. la, la, la duda. Yeah, exactly. Y le tuvimos que buscar, no entendíamos. Se dice, no sé cómo que, y eso que es un, es un, un gusano de que ajá, correcto. se mete en los libros. Que, yeah, no, 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 es, ajá, es un. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo es en español? Ratón, Ratón de biblioteca. Ratón de biblioteca. De hecho, eso es nuevo para mí. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, that's the idea. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'll see you guys in a moment in the main room. Okay, thanks. Okay. Uh, number 15. The children have so many toys. Look at so. So. Okay. Uh, she suck a bookworm. Bookworm. Okay. This is, this is so. Yeah. Uh, I had a Le va a preguntar usted. Sí, teacher. Ya. Yeah. Uh, we have doves in the, the last one. Okay. Uh -huh. The shots have so or such. The last one, number 20, is uh, we are talking about vegetables. Yeah. Are vegetables, an, are, are they an adjective or a noun? A noun? I think so, no. Oh, Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, okay. Thank you. The the last part of the sentence. At uh, at that time that we grew our own, what does it mean? Sorry, which one? Uh, the last part of the sentence after vegetable. Oh. The at the time that we grew our own, teníamos tan pocos uh, vegetales en ese momento que, 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 que nosotros um, eh, cultivamos nuestro, nuestros propios vegetales. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Grow, grow is cultivar. Grow is cultivar. Yeah. Bueno, yeah. in that context, en ese contexto sí. Porque crecer como... Uh, it grow, uh, grow is crecer, ¿verdad? pero en este contexto es de cultivar, de oh, ser, okay. de cultivar un, la, la tierra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
No, no se, no, no, no se programe pensando que es complicado, no, sino que es simplemente cosas que poco a poco va a ir aprendiendo, apenas está a nivel 4, ¿verdad? Entonces poco a poco no se, no se me vayan eh, a, a desanimar, o sea, eso es un proceso. Y es más, les, les digo una cosa, nunca van a dejar de aprender. O sea, ustedes van a graduar y se van a tener con el diploma, pero nunca van a dejar de aprender. Ustedes van a seguir aprendiendo porque si usted se pone a pensar hasta un, en español, usted sigue aprendiendo. ¿O, o a poco no? Sí, hay palabras que no. Hay palabras, hay ajá, eh, reglas, reglas gramaticales. Eh, um, de, por ejemplo, usted sabe cuál es la diferencia entre hubiese sido y hubiera sido. No. ¿Verdad? Ya ves, o sea, y estamos hablando español. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, o sea, hay veces uno, o sea, todavía tiene que aprender muchas cosas. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, sí, no, no van a dejar, no, o sea, no se, no se preocupe, que esto es un proceso. Y poco a poco. ¿Ok? Ok. I'll see you in the main room in a moment, ¿ok? No se le escucha, teacher. Sorry. Uh, you can hear me now, right? Yes. Okay, good. All right. So let's, let's go over the answers um, very quickly. Okay. Solamente vayan diciéndome la respuesta porque no les puedo escribir. Si no, no vamos a tardar mucho tiempo. So okay. they were very, sorry, they so, were so, so, so happy. So happy. So happy. Good. Speak Chinese. So well. Oh, well. So well. So well. Julie is such a such a good such. writer. Such. Such. such very good. She swims so quickly. So quickly. So quickly. It was so late. So, so, so late. late. The last train. So late. We missed the last train. They have such a big house that they got lost. Seven. She has such a big house that they got lost. Seven. Such a sweet puppy. Good. Such a sweet puppy. Eight. That was such an interesting book. Good. Such an interesting book. Such. The weather was. So, so hot, hot. I, I stayed, stayed inside. It's so hot, I stayed inside. He's such a teenager. Such a teenager. He was so handsome. It was such a beautiful day. Yeah, we took a picnic to the park. Such a beautiful day that we took a picnic to the park. Yeah. Uh, you're not usually so, so tired. tired. So tired. So tired. Okay. He doesn't often work. Uh, uh, such, such a lot. A lot. Such, such a lot. lot. Such a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I I don't know what is such a lot is an adjective. No. Yeah. Articles. For so, 14. 14. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't often work often so work. a lot. A lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. No, a lot is not an adjective. No, that's not an adjective. It's a noun. 
Um, it's, it's actually what we call um, a quantifier. Quantificativo. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a quantifier. Um, so yeah, but it doesn't make sense if we use the word so. So we have to use the word such. Mm -hmm. It's such. Such. Okay. All right. The children have? Such. 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 Mm. Actually, so. <laughs> so many so. stories. Such. Many, so many. many. Much. So um, many. Yeah, so such. many. So many toys. Please. Such, such a, a bookworm. bookworm. Such a bookworm. Mm -hmm. I had. Such, such a lot, lot of work. Such a lot of. Such a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Good. You shouldn't drink. Uh, so, uh, so little. Little. So little. little in this weather. Uh, she has. So much, so much money. money. So much money. Twelve, twenty. The shop had. So few vegetables. So few vegetables. So few. So few. The shop. Such, such. Such. Such few vegetables because we're talking about vegetables. Mm. Okay. All right. There you go. That's it. Okay, guys. That's all for today. Hagan las tareas de la plataforma. Acuérdense, necesitamos tener eso listo. Quieren más práctica con el such or so? Pueden hacer los ejercicios que les mandé. Ok. Ok. Ahora me toca con Werner. Werner se puede quedar? Okay. Yes, good. teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, so that will be all for today, guys. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, Werner. Um, ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? Eh, bueno, teacher. Bien y, y no muy bien, pero... Okay. <ríe> este, quizás um, un, uno de los problemas más grandes para mí dentro de la misma plataforma, porque como... La verdad que este módulo he tenido bastante problemas como para poder darle tiempo al, a la práctica. Creo que ese es, para mí ha sido quizás mi talón de Aquiles en, esta, eh, en este módulo. Pero sin embargo, eh, me cuesta mucho, por ejemplo, en la plataforma, en el ejercicio, ya le digo, teacher. Ok. Um, que tuve problemas porque no, no logro entender todavía algunas... Edgar, um, tengo una, ¿tiene alguna pregunta, Edgar? ¿Quiere hacer o no? Edgar, creo que no me escucha. Ok. Sí. Eh, es, es sobre la tarea, teacher, la tarea 14 o, o 14. 14. 14. Yes. Um, Let's give me one moment. Yes. Um, Uh, yes. uh, 14, right? Number, yes, yeah, 14. Yes, uh, number four. Um, uh, this is, uh, I hope we're you all. This is lo que yo coloqué. How were you all? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, the, the, the how has to go with old together. How old? Cuantos años? That's what you're saying. How old? Cuantos años? 
O sea, yo lo tengo así, mire. Yo... Ah, es, no sé si es correcto o incorrecto. How were you all? No, because to the whole, the how has the to how. Be together with the old. How old? ¿Cuántos años? Ah, ok. It how. has to go together. Uh, like, yeah, how old? To how much, like, for example, how much, how many, how yeah. old, and juntos. Mm, ah, ok. Okay, teacher. Okay. Es como el que aprendí a Monte cuando decía, how, how old are you? How old are you? It's how like... old are you? Ajá, uh -huh. ¿cuántos años tú tienes? Ok. Ah, uh -huh. uh, ok, teacher. Ese será una. Y, bueno, eh, y estoy en el ejercicio 19, de 19, 18 creo que es, perdón. 18. Okay, déjeme ver. 18. Oh, 19, perdón, teacher. 19. Ah, 19, ya va a terminar. Yes, yeah. yes teacher. O sea, digamos, voy por la 18. O sea, tenía problemas con esa que la había dejado pendiente porque no, no entendía que era que era lo que estaba preguntando y ah, ahora sí okay. entendí o sea digamos quizás por eso no no hice bien la oración ok All right. eh, esa es una estructura que aún no hemos visto verdad ajá ah, ok eh, entonces la, la miramos pregunta pregunta no, mañana no, 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 no podemos ver o sea solamente que le estoy diciendo que posiblemente por eso hay gente está teniendo problemas ¿verdad? porque no le hemos visto aún sí um, uh -huh. eh, entonces um, Um, y quizás reforzar más lo de ahora, teacher, el so y el such, quizás podríamos, no sé, yo lo, en, lo entiendo porque lo entendí el día de ayer y se me hizo fácil, y de hecho que hice los ejercicios y los hice muy bien, pero exactamente como usted lo dijo, no pensando en inglés, no pensando en español, sino pensando en inglés, o sea, cuando era muy importante y cuando es menos importante. Uh -huh. o sea, al entenderlo de esa forma, se me hizo más fácil. O sea, de hecho, entenderlo. Pero cuando... Eh, bueno, si es, si es importante también saber si cuando viene el adjetivo, que se ocupa el soch, y que de hecho que se ocupa dentro de la misma estructura, el día de ayer decía que se ocupaba menos. O sea, era menos o, o sea se ocupa menos el, el soch. Pero, pe, o sea, digamos, a la hora de hablar, muy poca gente lo utiliza, no sé. No, no, no en realidad no. Uh, no, no, se pueden usar los dos. Se pueden okay. utilizar los dos. Uh -huh. no. Lo que pasa es que uh, tal vez so lo ven más seguido porque um, so tiene otros significados. Por ejemplo, so puede usar, se puede utilizar como la palabra entonces. Ah, entonces sí. podría ser que um, a veces se pueden ver la palabra so más seguido, pero no es porque es en esa estructura. O sea, eh, prácticamente si usted quiere decir tan, va a tener que usar o so o, o, o such. Y la única manera de poder determinar cuál de los dos va a usar es si la palabra que usted está... La palabra que viene después es solamente un adjetivo o si es un, un sustantivo que lo va a calificar. Sí. Eh, teacher, por casualidad usted, eh, bueno, no sé si lo tiene guardado, la parte de la presentación donde le explicó el soy y el soch, um, creo que fue a, a Marvin, no sé, no sé si fue a Marvin, el que casi no entendía, donde dijo... Eh, el complemento, oh, ¿cómo se llama? No más el adjetivo, más, más el sustantivo, creo que. Um, sí, 
pero lo borró. <risa> lo que pasa es de que no es que yo lo haya borrado, sino que Zoom me lo borra porque como es como una pizarra. Ah, perfecto. Sí, sí. Entonces tengo el, el, el PowerPoint, pero yo escribo sobre el, el la PowerPoint. Eh, eh, y entonces problem. viene que y se, se borra. Pero lo que sí, pero, pero una cosa, ¿puede, ¿puede usted volver a verlo cuando suba el video? ¿Lo puede volver a ver? ¿Ve? Y si no, claro. pues pregunta ahorita también, le puedo explicar. No, no, no problem. Ticha, ese era más que todo la, 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 el problema que tenía era con, con eso. Pero con esa estructura creo que, de hecho, que los ejercicios que lo hicimos con la compañera eh, que estuve trabajando, lo hicimos bastante bien. O sea, consideramos que de todos quizás fallamos en un... quizás fallamos un 20%, y considero que era bastante. O sea, digamos, eran las últimas preguntas, fueron la, las difíciles con el... con el... Soch a lot, que era... ahí habíamos colocado nosotros so a lot. Ajá. Y era, digamos, ahí era, okay. es, en esas creo que, y habían dos oraciones bastante similares, creo que quizás okay. ahí, pero... Pregunta, ¿cuántas en total fallaron? En total? Eh, quizás fallamos eh, de las, uh, quiero ver, de las 20, quizás fallamos, dicho, unas, ¿qué? Unas cuatro, quizás. Ok, si se fallaron sí. en cuatro y son 20, se sacaron Sería un 80%. Un 80%, ¿sí? sí no, por eso le digo, estábamos bastante bien. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Yeah, no bad. Very good. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Anything else? Any other question? No, um, no another question, teacher. You sure? Okay, thank you, okay. teacher. For... ¿Tiene alguna pregunta, segura? Ahora, no, aproveche, no. aproveche. Hoy no, si la tengo mañana, tomorrow, teacher. Okay. No lo no dudo. Okay. Voy a estudiar ahora las esa estructura y uh -huh. hacer la tarea que usted dejó porque no okay. la excelente no la he escuchado no las he hecho todavía okay. Bye. perfecto okay. Okay, no problem okay good to see you Warner y le agradezco okay. mucho por haberse conectado aunque andaba en su carrito y todo pero usted bien bien um, era bien disciplinadito se, es, es se, que lo, se que pasa, lo que pasa es que yo quizás no mencioné eso al principio porque yo podía, o sea, digamos, de hecho que hoy fui a, a corporativo y les expliqué que salgo exactamente a las 8 de la noche. O sea, mi, mi trabajo es de 12 a 8, de 12 del mediodía a 8. Entonces salgo exactamente a la hora que comienza la clase. Entonces en trasladarme del, de, de mi trabajo hacia acá claro. me lleva a veces un poco tiempo. O sea, estoy relativamente cerca, pero... Algunos sí, alumnos, no, pero siempre, o sea, no, pero, al, no se va a, tra a transportar en dos minutos tampoco. Sí, algunos alumnos, entonces yo me los llevo y hago una pequeña ruta antes de llegar a la casa. Entonces hago esa, ¿cómo podríamos decirle? Obra de caridad. Eh, una, ajá, como parte de la, de, de, de la amistad, igual entre alumno, maestro, yo llevo la ruta, entonces le digo a los padres de familia, mire, yo, yo me lo voy a llevar, o sea, solo espérenlos. Y yo los voy dejando a dos o a tres que, que van en el carro y de ahí sí. vengo hacia la casa. Pero por eso lo que ahora no... ¿Soy maestro? Sí, soy entrenador de esgrima, sí. Ah, soy sí. coach de National Team of Fencing. Fencing. Yes. Oh, wow, interesting. Yes. Very nice. And speciality, speciality is uh, four. The, the speciality de fencing is uh, only three. Uh, foil, EP, Sable. What does that mean? Uh, me, Foil. The others, uh, Kosh, Speciality Sable, y the others, uh, EP. And what, what is the difference? Uh, difference, uh, um, uh, the sectorization, or how do you say sectorization? Uh, the touch, the, the sector. ¿Cómo podría decir? Oh, the, uh, the sector is um, it's different. Yes, and foil only. Um, uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, chaleco de arriba. Chaleco only. Uh, best. 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 Yeah, only best. Um, uh, EP es uh, todo. Um, ¿Cómo es todo el cuerpo? Todo. The whole body. Whole body, ok. Y sable. Um, 
del tronco hacia arriba, ¿cómo sería, teacher? Um, um, cintura up. o cintura waist. up. The yes. waist up. Ah, the waist the up. Waist yes. up. Yes. yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is uh, three, three difference. On uh, uh, EP and foil, uh, the touch is the point. Uh, different in sable. Sable noise, the point is the, um, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Filo y contrafilo, teacher. The touch is... Uh, como de filo? Uh, filo es like um, the edge. The edge, ajá. Uh -huh. The point uh -huh. is the edge. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm. yes. Wow. That's it's different, yes. It's, I it's really it. don't know very much about fencing. I just kind of seen it, but <laughs> I, I, I don't know very much about it. So that's interesting. That's yes, interesting. teacher. Um, okay, oh. it's, it's very interesting. Um, um the, the spork yes interesting the spork uh is beautiful it mm. is very <laughs> it's very beautiful and the olympians and um ¿cómo se llama? it's very interesting the paralympics oh. the, the fencing is beautiful it's really paralympics yes. uh, uh, paralympics oh. and ¿cómo se dice? Silla de ruedas? The, uh, yeah wheelchair The wheelchair, yes. Mm, yeah, the wheelchair wow. is in, interesting. As is, is the others, how do you say it? The, como que fuera fuera de serie, teacher. All the other, uh, the outstanding, outstanding, yes, the outstanding. Wow, interesting. Emotion, I... the emotion, the passion, this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, well, you know what? I, I, I love the fact that you are so passionate about it. Um, I can tell you love it. And that's so good. I, that's, that's so important to love what you do. So good, good for you, Werner. It's de hecho, teacher, eh, este fin de semana, por eso que me costó más, y fue, eh, me gustó mucho porque tuve una capacitación. Mm -hmm. Bueno, hay, como se dice en inglés, sería, hay training? Hay training de, 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 um, the project, uh, the implement the, um, the software. Yeah, the, the implement the software uh, for, for, for work, sería para el trabajo, con un nuevo mm -hmm. software for para work. el trabajo. Software, uh, interesting, uh, my, uh, como se dice, los expositores, teacher, los, Presenters? Uh, yes, the present, uh, the presenters is uh, the country England. Only English. Only English. Uh, and first, in uh, uh, a primer moment, the first moment. At first? Yes, at the first, first moment. Uh, I speak only Spanish, uh, but. Uh, Uh, the question: uh, How how many they speak English? Uh, in the twelve uh, only hands ten. Uh, okay, very good. Only English. <laughs> yeah. Hey, good. Hey, good for yes. you. That's excellent. Yeah. Yes, That's good. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. exactly what you should do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the like force yourself to learn to to speak English. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's very good. No, uh, that's wonderful, Werner. Very, very good. Fue bastante difícil porque no manejábamos todos los términos, pero en algún momento o se levantábamos la mano uh -huh. y preguntábamos cuál era el término porque uh -huh. habían algunos términos de parte del programa bastante difícil de interpretar, o sea, entonces, pero prácticamente un 80%, entendí un 80% de la capacitación y eso fue más que excelente. De hecho que hice un ejercicio, yo grabé con el teléfono eh, toda la conversación que él da y luego comencé a escuchar y a repetir, y a repetir, y tratar de entender algunas cosas que no... Excelente. Sí. Muy bueno, muy bueno. Eh, sí, realmente hay que, hay que ingeniárselas, ¿verdad? Eh, y sí, o sea, eh, utilizar cualquier 
oportunidad, ¿verdad? Para, que, para poder practicar. The opportunity, yes, teacher. The, this, um, the programs uh, is made, ¿cómo se, se llama? Así sería, el programa se llama, oh, the programs is made, uh, uh -huh. the sport cultures. The sport. Cultural sports? Cultural sports, yes. Uh -huh. The cultural sport, mm -hmm. yes. Mm, sí. Digamos, wow. eh, digamos que lo que ellos dan es, es el éxito del trabajo bajo presión. O sea, tenemos que estar siempre bajo presión. Eh, digamos que eso debe de ser nuestra rutina diaria, estar trabajando bajo presión. Para que lo entiendan los atletas, porque los, el problema acá es que el atleta cuando entra en presión, se cae emocionalmente y sucede en el fútbol, en otros deportes, pero ahora necesitamos enseñarle que trabajar bajo presión es normal. Lo único que hay que hacer es, eh, es aplicar este software uh -huh. eh, para que ellos puedan eh, buscar una solución, la correcta. O sea, digamos, ellos le llaman the, the red and the blue. O sea, a un red, es, si estás en rojo, estás como parálisis. And, and blue es uh, action. Uh, uh, clear is clear. Um, uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Es claro lo que vas a hacer. Es, 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 entonces, está claro lo que vas a hacer en azul. Uh -huh. eh, visualizas, visualizas. Y al visualizar y estar claro, tiene la forma de buscar una solución. Pero el detalle está de que el, se intercambian. A veces uh, conectas rojo a red y return a blue. <laughs> es muy difícil. Yeah, yeah. But that makes sense. That makes lots of sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're right. You are, you do need to learn how to work under pressure a little bit, right? Not too much pressure, but yes, you do need to, to learn how to, how to work under pressure. Yeah, that's good. Yes, you can. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, sorry for the conectarme tarde, teacher. No era mi intención. Quizás no hablé antes. Podía haberme conectado antes. De hecho, que lo dije. Y con gusto yo. yo Sí, bueno, ahora ya sabe, ahora ya sí. sabe, ¿verdad? Que uh, no, usted dice que fue a, a, ahora a Entes Corporativo. Ya yes, dicho, fue y, a dejar la documentación, sí. Ah, ok, ¿y le, les, les mencionó eso? Sí, ya yes, dicho, ah, sí. Okay. Uh, uh, de hecho que la persona que nos lleva el, todo el movimiento, él me atendió, o sea, él, él estaba, entonces me dijo, ah, okay. uh, y ya me explicó también igual sobre que me había monitoreado sobre las llegadas tardes. Entonces, uh -huh, uh -huh. le explicaba lo de los horarios de trabajo y yo le decía que si había algún inconveniente, pues que yo podía conectarme en el vehículo e irlas escuchando. Ajá. Sí, cabal, o sea, definitivamente, de que antes ya sabe, ¿verdad? Uh, de hecho, le voy a decir exactamente ahorita. Quiero ver, Warner. Vamos a ver. Warner. Sí. Warner, ahorita en este momento, uh, sí, yo creo que si se sigue conectando, le va a llegar la nota, eh, le va a llegar el, el porcentaje, porcentaje de, de, de minutos. Sí, pero para que le sea mejor para, la, para un futuro, Solamente haga eso, ¿verdad? Haga yes, teacher. Yes, no. Uh -huh. Es que en realidad, en realidad, en uh, realidad, es reality, es fierce. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Primera vez. Fear. First time. First time, yes, teacher. Es sí. first time. Ah, es, es su primer curso. No, eh, es mi primera vez que me pasa esto. Ah, ya, yeah, ok. Uh -huh. uh, no sé cómo decirlo. ¿Cómo sería? Uh -huh. yeah. yes. The first time that this happens. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Siempre hay primera vez para todo. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Así que, no, okay. no, don't worry, don't worry about it. Okay, teacher, good night. Well, good see night, Warner. Take care and uh, see you tomorrow. Yes, teacher. Okay, all right, bye. Okay, bye-bye, teacher.